Hey there, Allison with EverydayShortcuts.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a different kind of bomb and it's gonna be a cappuccino bomb. I'm gonna make a French vanilla cappuccino bomb using these ingredients. First is our silicone mold. I'm gonna use the medium size mold. I'm going to use a French vanilla cappuccino um, you can use like different flavors. Um, you can use like a mocha flavor for like a mocha cappuccino bomb. Um, I think there's like a toffee flavor. There's like all kinds of different flavors that you could do. But today we're going to do the French vanilla. I'm going to use the chocolate to melt um, for the shell. And then I think I'm going to drizzle a little bit of vanilla flavored uh, white chocolate over top just to bring out a little bit more of the vanilla flavor Okay, so let's get started in making our French vanilla cappuccino bombs So normally when I'm making these bombs, I usually use like um, the candy melts, but this time my store was out of them so I'm going to be using a candy coating and we're going to see how this works, but you want to melt in the microwave in 30 second increments, stirring in between until creamy and smooth. Okay, so this actually melted pretty good. I think it's going to work great. So if you cannot find the candy melts, you can also use a chocolate candy coating. And we're going to go ahead and fill the molds. So once you have your chocolate inside the molds, you just want to work your way up to the top of the mold using the back of the spoon and making sure it's thick enough so it doesn't break and then keep it hollow in the middle. And then once you get that all done, you wanna put it in the fridge or freezer for about five to 10 minutes until hardened. Okay, so I have popped out all of the chocolate molds and as you can see, some of the edges are pretty jagged. So I heated up a plate, a small plate in the microwave for like 45 seconds and I'm just going to get some of those jagged edges off and kind of smooth it out a bit as you can see it nicely was smooth it out and if you just need to do it again you can do it again and then that way it makes it easier to seal them together now it's time to fill the cappuccino bombs I'm going to use about a heaping teaspoon and fill it in there. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit more, probably like another half teaspoon. Now, on the back of the package of the cappuccino, it says to put, whoops, wrong side. It says to put three tablespoons, but since we have the chocolate already, um, like the chocolate shell, I, th I think it's gonna be plenty um, cappuccino taste to it. Now that the chocolate shells are filled, we're gonna go ahead and seal them and use the small plate again, heat it up for another 45 seconds, kind of twist the top part, the empty shell back and forth and place it on top and then hold it together uh, for a few seconds and allow it to harden together. Now a couple little tips when doing this. If you want to avoid fingerprints on your cappuccino bombs, you can wear food safe gloves. Um, also if you want, you can also add other mix-ins such as sprinkles or marshmallows if you want um, and choose whatever flavor you want. You can even use the uh, vanilla flavored white chocolate shell if you want as well. Now that our chocolate shells are hardened together, we're gonna go ahead and drizzle the vanilla flavored white chocolate over top. And to do so, I'm just gonna use a sandwich bag, a Ziploc sandwich bag, and I'm gonna put the melted chocolate, push it all the way to the bottom and cut off the end there and just kind of drizzle it um, back and forth over top. 
So the decorating is done and I to decorate I usually lay a piece of parchment paper down just because it gets a little messy and it's easy cleanup and just went back and forth with the melted chocolate and drizzled over top and now I'm going to allow it to harden before we consume. To consume a cappuccino bomb all you need to do is heat up six to eight ounces of milk um, you can do it in the microwave, you can do it on the stove, and you want to drop the cappuccino bomb into a mug and then pour six to eight ounces of piping hot milk over, stir, and enjoy.